Please, uh, may I know your name? Uh, this is Sanctuary. Yeah, uh, which institution, sir? Here in Man Technical University. Uh, why didn't you add doctor to the name? No, because I feel that the doctor is an error of law for them to, the, for parliament to add the doctor. So no matter when I'm pronouncing the name, I feel that I don't add the doctor because it's error of law and I cannot, as a lecturer, I cannot repeat in law, uh, errors that parliament has made. Okay. So as a lecturer, so what are some of the things you think you can do to avert that situation or reverse that you think is an error? What, what do you think? What are you doing about that? Currently, I've written uh, to, for parliament to amend the name. So I've written a piece that I will be sending to parliament to, for them to amend it, to delete the doctor from the name because it, it, it's an indictment on the, the entire state for people outside to think that a whole a university we are naming our university with a title and as an inanimate uh, inanimate object we cannot add title to its name so I've already written that uh, piece that I'll be taking to Parliament for Parliament to amend uh, the name to delete the doctor from it. So, what is the proof that that doctor shouldn't be part of the name? Uh, are there instances you can refer as to why do you think they shouldn't put doctor there? But we have seen the people naming institutions after Dumbo and the like. So, why do you think the doctor shouldn't be there? Uh, in the first place, you see the doctor, uh, doctor he, the late doctor here, the man, the title. Uh, the, the doctor that is attached is academic title. In the first place, academic titles are not transferable. It cannot be transferred from person to person. It's awarded. So once it's awarded, it's awarded to individual Pacific. And more so, uh, the, it is only awarding institution, accredited institution, permitted to award doctorate degree that can either award doctorate or honorary degree. Parliament is not accredited institution to uh, award doctorate. So in the first place, Parliament on its own cannot name any person, other inanimate, even if it's permissible, to award a, a doctor title to that person or inanimate, which even for inanimate, it is not permissible at all. So, more so by, cost, uh, by customer law, we only name institution after prominent personality in the society by only the original names. So, by parliament, adding doctor to the name, to name after an institution, is a breach of customer law. And we know that customer law is also an embedded in the constitution of Ghana. So a breach of customer law is synonymous to a breach of provisions of the constitution. And for that matter, the Act 1016, which established the Hilleriman Technical University, the, with the name having the daughter there, is inconsistent with a provision of the 1992 constitution in view of the fact that customer law is a provision in the constitution and by article 1 clause 2 of the 1992 constitution any law which is inconsistent with any provision of this constitution to the extent of inconsistency is void so by that it means that by naming the institution with the doctor attached make it inconsistent so uh, it make it void. So which means that the, we need to amend the name of the institution. And uh, my concern is that it says as indictment on the whole uh, citizens of Ghana for us to be named, for our parliament to be naming an institution with a, a title, which is not transferable, academic title, which are not transferable. And even if it's transferable, it's not even to an in inmate term. And for instance, we have uh, Opoku Wale Senior High, 
Opokuwari was named after the Otunfo uh, Opokuwari, which is, uh, uh, was Asante But the title was not added. We have Dr. Kwame Nkrumah Science and Technology, which the daughter was eliminated and leaving only the name Kwame Nkrumah Science and Technology. Then we have Odell for Buampense, the late Omar Hing of the Church. And we have a, an institution named after him called Buampense Senior High. The Odell for which is started was eliminated. And we have Opokuwale. Opokuwale to name after Asante Hen, which is Otunfo. The, uh, the Otunfo was eliminated. And even Goro, which is the, the town of the late Dr. Hilary Mann, the daughter was eliminated. So I don't see why Parliament do not do due diligence. Is it the Hilary Mann Senior High? Yes, Hilary Mann Senior High. Okay. So it, 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 is, it cuts a snare on the whole citizens of Ghana. And some people will be looking and we, uh, the whole country will become a laughing stock. Yeah. So it's, a, it's a, something that needs, and I have already done the piece which I will be taking to Parliament for Parliament to see to make a, a amendment to the name, to delete the data for me, leaving only the real demand so that uh, that uh, inconsistency with the, the provisions of the Constitution of Ghana will, will be avoided. So as other, uh, other staff of the university, especially those on top positions, are they in support of what you are doing? The, the, the whole thing is that uh, there are a lot of lecturers who don't agree. Who don't agree to the name. Who don't agree to the name. So, but you see, this is an error committed by Parliament. So this one, uh, and because it's an uh, error committed by Parliament, any citizens of Ghana can take that thing up, can take it, that thing up uh, on behalf of the state. Because this has become a state affair. It's not an institutional affair. Once the, it's an error committed by Parliament, it doesn't become an institutional affair, but it becomes a state affair. So any patriotic citizens of Ghana can take the matter out to see to that that, that error of law is uh, uh, avoided. So our students, their certificates, is, is, is that what is on their certificates? That Dr. Hilary Mann title, is that what is on there? Uh, and what do you think about that? No, uh, in actual fact, uh, I was away for some time, so uh, I've not seen the, uh, the actual certificate that they print on it for them and what name that it is. It. Okay. But I feel that the area that the amendment is done, the better. Because uh, once it's, uh, it's in a breach of customer law, and uh, which in turn becomes a breach of the provision of the constitution of Ghana, the area that amendment is done, the better for all of us. So with this caution you are throwing, it means if that is what is on the acidic case, it's a big problem. Is that what you are saying? The currently, uh, that's why I don't want to go to, because I've not seen the they, they say, they say the so, so I don't want to uh, get go, to go into that. Okay, okay. But I feel that uh, once it's uh, an error of law, uh, we don't have to accept uh, something that is error of law to become a, a, a norm or acceptable in the society. Uh, those things need to be avoided.